lioness, leaping from one hill to another, gave birth to a lion cub mid-leap. The cub tumbled onto a road where a flock of sheep was grazing. Naturally, he blended in with the sheep, lived among them, and mimicked their behavior. He had no inkling or aspiration that he was, in fact, a lion. How could he have known? He was surrounded solely by sheep, and sheep alone. He never roared like a lion, because sheep lack that ability. Solitude was foreign to him. Sheep always stick together, always in a group. It's cozier, safer, more secure that way. If you see sheep walking, they're invariably huddled closely, perpetually afraid of being alone. However, the lion began to grow. An extraordinary phenomenon unfolded. In his mind, he aligned himself with the sheep. Yet biology didn't comply with his identification. Nature follows its own course. He blossomed into a splendid young lion but as circumstances unfolded, the sheep grew accustomed to him, and he grew accustomed to the sheep. Naturally, they deemed him a little eccentric. He behaved extraordinarily, and amongst other things, he kept growing against all expectations while pretending to be a lion, even though he wasn't. They'd known him since birth, reared him, fed him their milk. By nature, he wasn't vegetarian. No lion is. Yet he became one, partaking in chewing grass with apparent delight alongside the sheep. The sheep tolerated this minor difference. He was slightly larger and had a lion-like appearance. One particularly sagacious sheep remarked, it's merely a quirk of nature. It happens occasionally. And the lion accepted this notion too. He possessed different coloration, a different physique, an aberration of sorts. The idea of being a lion, however, remained implausible. He was enveloped by these countless sheep. Even sheep psychoanalysts clarified, you're just a peculiarity of nature. Don't fret, we're here to assist. Yet one day, an elder lion happened upon this youthful lion amidst the flock. He could scarcely believe his eyes. Not only had the elder lion never witnessed such a sight, but he'd also never heard of a lion dwelling among sheep without inciting fear. The young lion roamed about indistinguishably, munching on grass. The elder lion even forgot his intention to seize a sheep for breakfast. The notion of breakfast vanished entirely. It all proved so perplexing that he endeavored to catch the young lion. But age had slowed the elder lion, and the young lion managed to escape though still under the belief he was a sheep. When danger loomed, that identification wavered. He sprinted like a lion, and the elder lion struggled to keep pace. Ultimately, the elder lion apprehended the young one, who pleaded, have mercy, I'm just a hapless sheep. To which the elder lion retorted, you simpleton, cease your cries and follow me. A pond lay nearby, and he led the young lion to it. Reluctantly, the young lion followed. How could he resist a lion when he deemed himself a sheep? Defiance might have resulted in death. The pond's surface was tranquil, mirroring the scene like a glassy mirror, and the elder lion instructed the young one, gaze at our reflections, mine and yours my form, and yours. Moments later, a mighty roar reverberated through the hills. The sheep vanished, 
and the young lion transformed into an entirely different being. He recognized his true self. The alignment with sheep had been a construct of the mind, not reality. Now he beheld the truth, and the elder lion declared, I needn't say more. You comprehend. A peculiar energy surged within the young lion, an unfamiliar force. Despite having long perceived himself as a feeble, modest sheep, his frailty and humility dissipated like mist in the sun 